Hello YouTube, Sucker Fox here. I'm going to have a quick look at the light pen for the Amstrad PCW8256 and also 8512. That's for this, the Electric Studio News Desk International desktop publishing and page making system. So, this came out in, uh, in 1987 as you can see there. And it still astounds me today. I, I don't understand how it works, and I don't really want to look into how it works because that'll sort of remove the magic. But there's the light pen itself. So this attaches to the edge connector on the back of the PCW by a interface. And once you've loaded up, press P for light pen. You can also use keyboard and mouse on this software. And you can do some freehand drawing. Which will be quite difficult with just one hand. You need to use the space bar as well. Hold the space bar down to draw, I believe. So, using the arrow keys we'll go to graphics, draw, makes a lovely little beep every time. We'll go to pen. Right, so when you pick up the light pen, you see you've got a little, little cross there on the screen. Sorry about the flickering. As you can see, it's tracking the movement of the pen and it's pretty nearly instantaneously really responsive which is just bizarre so I'll pull that down for a sec I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to endeavour to put the keyboard on the floor and work the space bar like a foot pedal Whether this will work or not, I don't know. Because otherwise, there's no way I'm going to be able to do it. So, will it stretch? Uh, not quite. Not quite. So, what I'll do is... Balance it there. Okay. Right. So. Still got the... Uh, so, I'll hold the space bar down. And you can see we draw in a line. Let the space bar go, and you can reposition the cursor. So you could write things like hello. Like that. Not brilliant. Not brilliant hand control there by me. So what we'll do is just cancel to exit that and let's clear the screen right so what we're going to do this time is we're going to use pen again let's see if we can't can't draw. Let's have a go at drawing something. So, let's press the space bar. Let's try and draw a freehand face. Bit wonky there. I mean, it is really responsive, and I'm sure with a lot of practice, you could get quite, quite good at it. That is meant to be a nose, believe it or not. Right. So let's let's select spray can. And you select 
how big you want the spray nozzle, nine being the biggest. So let's go for a four. So do a bit of stubble now around the give me a little beard. And I'll tell you who this is meant to be. Can you guess what it is yet? Bit of hair. Obviously it's a spray can, if you leave it in one place for a long time, it'll make a darker patch. Can you tell what it is? Yep, it is uh, Alan Sugar. Founder of Amstrad or Alan Michael Sugar Trading. That's not too bad, I'm quite happy with that. So let's just quickly, quickly demonstrate what else, what else we can do. Let's have a look at brush. Let's go for three. So with brush, you get a thicker line. Which you can just. Obviously, just like a paintbrush, you can fill areas in, or just uh, go freehand. And this pen works out to a distance of about two inches from the screen, and we can basically just touch it right up against the screen. Not drawing anything particular here, just a just a doodle. Try and get his eyes a bit better. Give him some darker pupils there. So yeah, or well, you could uh, use it to write freehand. So it's, uh, it's about 25 years old, this Electric Studio Light Pen, but it still impresses me today. I'm really glad to have it. It's something I really want to keep in the collection. So, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed having a look at it in action. Thanks for watching.